Okay, lads, uh, welcome to Friday's class. I just wanted to, I suppose, go through some more things on our electronic circuit. Um, again, don't forget that our assignment was due today. Just one small thing you need to remember. So your assignment of photographs of all the notes we've taken for the last week, they need to be into the class today. Uh, I'm just going to go back over quickly enough now about some of the stuff we talked about. So we have done our work now on Ohm's Law. All right, so Ohm's law again is your voltage, current, and resistance. And I just want you guys maybe to take down this page of notes again because I want to add in another power form and a triangle into this as well. But uh, I'm going to move on with the fact that we are able to calculate resistance, current, and voltage based on information that we get in questions. And to be honest, that's probably a junior search, maybe fifth year type stuff. We need to add in more items here now, things like our power formula. So uh, when I say power, okay, when I say power, power is measured in watts, and for example, I'm hoping we all know that you can get things like a 60 watt light bulb, and if I go from a 60 watt light bulb to a 200 watt light bulb, you'll see there'll be a lot more power, it'll be very much a brighter bulb, and watts is a way of measuring, I suppose, the power of a motor, it's also, like I say, light bulbs. And we also need to be able to calculate those watts. And that triangle works in the same way. Now, it's voltage and current, but in this triangle here, we don't have resistance. So at the top of the triangle, we've got power. And that's measured in watts. Maybe sometimes it's measured in joules. But if I, again, want to find out what the power is of a, current, of, of a circuit, if I cover the P, it's our voltage multiplied by our current. Okay, it's our voltage multiplied by our current. And again, if I want to find out what the current is, it's power divided by voltage. So you'll see that as, as, as the further on we go. Now look, I am looking for these bullet points and these triangles to be into your notes copy. So you've got that bullet point, power is measured by watts, and then you've got more power is equal to stronger motors, brighter lights, uh, and so on. I'm also gonna put in here for reference, I'm getting some of this information from, and it's something for you to look at yourself, is page 234 in the book. Now, page 234 in the book is fine, it's very detailed. Uh, I'm trying to give you a simpler version of it, maybe a bit more accessible. When you're happy with the stuff that I've talked about today, then look at page 234, and it might be a little bit less daunting for you guys when you're looking at it, okay? Um, now, let's just start off with a fairly straightforward and simple circuit, okay? So the circuit here, and this is the circuit they have talked about on page 234, but it's a simple enough question. It's looking for to find the power that's in the circuit. So if, for example, I was to fire a motor in here, just to jump it in at the, at the end of this circuit, if I was to put in a motor at the end of that, what sort of power would that motor be getting? How strong would that motor be going? If I was to have a 3,000 ohm resistor and a 10,000 ohm resistor and a 5,000 ohm resistor, if they were all to be part of this circuit before the power got to the motor, what sort of power would the motor be getting? All right. And I'd like for you guys, if you could, to draw out that circuit. It is on page 234 in the book as well, but let's just put it in. And I'm hoping that we understand that our current is flowing in this direction here. It's going up like that. And it's flowing all the way around, and it wants to get back to its battery. It wants to get back to its power supply. And there will, there will be, of course, a voltage drop or a current drop after each of these resistors. And it could be a question that we get to later on, maybe to measure the current drop that happens at this point. But for today, I'm just looking at what what current, what power gets to the motor at the very end. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to our, okay, some of the stuff we've done over the last couple of days. We have got to calculate the total power of the whole, the whole sorry, the total resistance, excuse me, the total resistance of all of those resistors when they're lined up. Now those resistors are in series. And the formula we've talked about before is if the resistors are in series, you just add one to the next to the next. 3K turns into 3,000 ohms, 10K is 10,000 ohms, 5K is 5,000 ohms. So when they're laid out in this sequence, it's just plus one, plus two, plus three, add three of them together, and you should end up with 18,000 ohms, and sometimes that might be written as 18K ohms. Okay, so that note may be going to your notes copy as well. And that's not difficult. Uh, like that's my third years are working away with that so fine. This should this should be straightforward enough when it comes to see. It's just three resistors in series, calculate the total resistance, and you add them all together. Now, I'm gonna go back for a second here. Now we want to find our power. We want to find our power. But if I go to our power triangle, nowhere is there anything about resistance. 
Now, we're just after calculating the total resistance, but I can't use it. But what we can do is we can calculate the total current. We have got a voltage, which is 9 volts up above, and we have got a total resistance. So our 9 volts divided by 18,000 ohms, and our sums just end up here being 0 0.0005 amps. So if I take our 9 volts divided by 18,000 ohms, that will become 0 0.5 milliamps. 0 0.5 milliamps. So now what we've got is, we've now got our current. We've got our I. We've got our V from the top up here. V is our 9 volts, which is here. And we've got our V and we've got our I. So it's going to be as straightforward as, if we want to find our power, it's going to be voltage multiplied by a current, which will be 9 volts multiplied by that 0.5 milliamps. And then all of that works down at 9 volts multiplied by, and we should be keeping these in amps. So I'm just going to, it's stuff we talked about yesterday, and it came up in a question that, that kind of caught me out a little bit. But our, our amps, when we're doing all of our, our formulas, you have to bring them to amps. And you have to bring them to you know a full amp and full volts and full ohm. So it's it's actually going back to our 0 0.0005 amps. So it's nine volts multiplied by 0 0.0005 amps. That'll end up being point zero point zero zero four five watts. And just a shorthand way of putting that is to bring our decimal point to jump into three places. It's going to be four point five milliwatts okay so like it's it's using the first formula to help us get all the stuff we need for the second formula and then it's bringing it here so as we go forward with all this chapter you're going to have to think of both of these triangles side by side all the time okay it's going to be something you're going to need for the whole thing now i am going to expect that all the stuff i have here Maybe you want to divide it into two pages. But I want to see these in your notes copy, both these things. And when you're happy with all this now, and I'm hoping maybe you need to go back and look at it again or watch me explain it a second time. But when you're happy with this, then I need you to go to page 234 in the book. They actually make it shorter again. But they'll end up with the same formula. They'll end up with the same... Sorry, they'll end up with the same circuit and they'll end up with the same answer. But they, they go through different formulas. To be honest, I think the way I've done it is more simple. Um... There are more complicated ways of bringing it together, but it's up to yourself if you want to use that or not. Okay? And I'm just going to go back over what I said there about our notes copy. So if we could, lads, if you could add this into those photographs for the assignment as well for today. The assignment is open until 4 o'clock. If you can add these two pages in to your notes, that's it. Okay?